So I have a vision, summer beachy vacation makeup. I don't, I don't know where it's gonna go, but it's gonna be sun-kissed, bronzy, frosty, let's do it. So I switched it to back camera and I film it in my mirror because it's just so much easier for me to see. But I have been using this sunscreen here from Bliss and I absolutely love it under makeup. So this is what I already have on my skin, plus all of my other skincare. Now, if, I feel like if I'm on vacation, I would just want to do something quick, but I still want to look spicy. So I feel like a shadow stick is very quick. This one is from Make Beauty. The shade is Sonar. Let's just run that through our socket. It feels super smooth and very easy to blend. I can already tell. Taking the side of the brush, I'm just going to start to drag it onto the lid. And then we'll tap it up to transition. I feel like this is a really pretty base color. If we want to add some definition in a second, we can. But this would be pretty on its own. By the way, we're not going to use any kind of eyeshadow primer with this. And the reason why is most eyeshadow sticks... Um, they're going to dry down. A lot of times the same thing will go for liquid shadows, so you don't really need a base with them because that might actually hinder how they dry down and how they wear. Let's just take whatever's left here on the brush and we'll start a pre-nose bronze. We're still going to put on some kind of tint so that's going to go on top, but this color really works well for this. We love a two-for-one special. Now I'm taking this Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. This shade is Limitless Brown. Let's see what happens when we put it here. And I'm going to grab an E27 and I'm going, to, I'm going to start to smudge that. And we want to do this because even this formula is going to set pretty quickly. So we want to do one eye at a time. I feel like dry time is something we need to talk more about. Because when you don't have or you don't understand how quickly things dry, that's when things become patchy and that's when things start not blending. I was saying not blending properly. <laughs> I added a little bit more of that liner. We're just gonna keep smudging. And I'm not really doing a wing, but I do wanna to start to shape it out this way, just for a little lift. The shadow itself is gonna add the lift to the eye instead of doing a wing. About face, fractal eye paint in the shade Fracture. We're actually gonna grab it on a brush because I don't want it to be super pigmented once I start applying it. I kinda of wanna just tap it on. This is super easy. I feel like these are all products I would bring on vacation. Instead of a big, huge palette, these would just be so much easier to travel with. So this does feel realistic for me. Ooh, that's pretty. We can add a little bit more. Picking that up on the brush, tap it in the center. I'm gonna deepen the base of the lashes one more time, just right at the base. I'm not even gonna blend it, but that's what gives it that really beautiful gradient effect from darkest to lightest. It's about coming back to that lash line and just continuing to darken it. Now, I might not be going on a lot of vacations, but I do live in a very hot and humid climate. So that being said, if we don't want to wear a lot of foundation, but we want a little extra coverage, I'm going to show you something. This is going to be really fun. So this bronzer right here, this bronzer stick is very, very pigmented. It's very thin. Um, we're going to put this under and it's going to give our foundation a little bit more coverage. I will say this bronzer does run a little orange and that's going to be a lot. Okay. It's very pigmented. Notice that I'm tapping it on too. It's going to be a little bit less, but I'm telling you about the color because let me show you what we're going to do to fix it. So before we show you that, I really like this bronzer, but I like it better underneath foundation on top. It can just get wild and feral out of control so quickly because it is so pigmented but underneath again it's just going to add a little bit of coverage i think you'll like it that way well i thought i was recording but what we're doing here is we're adding red to that bronzer and not only is it going to kind of shift that bronzer to a little bit more red obviously but it's going to give us a really sun-kissed look underneath that foundation i can't wait to show you so we're trying out something new this is from rms beauty and it says it's the supernatural radiance serum i haven't tried it on my face but I have been able to kind of just play around with it on the back of my hand. And I feel like it's going to have enough coverage to cover this. And it definitely is. If I was already able to blend that out, let's go around it first. We've talked about this a lot with underpainting. And now we'll go on top. Ooh, that's pretty. That serum feels like I just put on skincare. I don't even feel it on my skin. I'm definitely going to do a smidgel of concealer. The shade I'm using is R5. I don't think I mentioned it, 
but this is another weightless formula. I cannot even feel this on my skin. If y'all have not tried this concealer yet, you're, you might be missing out. If you like a very thin, very pigmented concealer, you're gonna love this one. You are gonna love it. Now let's make sure that concealer's nice and blended with the tint. Just going back over with my foundation brush lightly. The goblin you hear is my kitty cat, Jean. Now, if I'm going out to dinner on my beachy summer vacation, I'm gonna wear some lashes. These are from Roquel Beauty, and the style is Moonlight. Before I set my under eye, we're gonna grab that Makeup Forever pencil again, and we're gonna just kind of put it here. And I'm gonna connect it this way. And what happens when you don't set the under eye here? Uh, let me find my brush. It's R-U-N-N-O-F-T, hang on. Since we haven't set that concealer yet, this is going to blend in like a dream. And I'm trying not to wing it. I do want it to kind of stay rounded. It just makes it so much easier to blend. And then if you kind of get it too far down this way, the powder that we're going to set the under eye with in a second can correct that. So easy. Oh, what the heck. Let's put this across our waterline as well. We're going to set with our Givenchy powder. This is shade 03. But then we're going to finish with the Makeup Forever. I want it to be a little bit more dewy and I wanted the center to be a little bit more matte just a smidge more matte oh you'll see so I do set with this one but I do want to let you know that it's really more it can, let's call it a finishing powder and I'm going to tell you the difference so with the Givenchy how it's a little bit more matte it really gets in there and it sets that concealer and we consider this one a setting powder now something that's going to give a little bit more luminosity to the skin those are usually considered finishing powders. And what finishing means is we finish the look with them. Ooh, that's still so blurring and pretty. But it's just going to make sure that this line here, it just doesn't look like there's a matte separation. We want to keep that glow going. But I still wanted to make sure that my under eye was nice and set. And this is just going to see how it's kind of, we got the glow here, we got the glow here, the glow's still here. There's not that matte separation. I am gonna add a little bit more bronzer. This is Mob Beauty M36. Let me double check that, yep. Now, if I'm on vacation, I want to look so bronzy. So that's why we're doing the double bronzer. Totally optional, but I like the idea. And I feel when I wear a cream with the powder on top, it does add a really beautiful dimension and glow to the skin. We're using a C40 for this. I feel like this color here, this is from Maven Beauty. The shade is Crush. I feel like it would just amplify that bronzer, kind of really give us that pretty vacation look. Ooh, that's pretty. Now with this color, I'm not taking this underneath the eye. We're gonna keep this more on the cheeks, but a little bit more on the high point. And the reason why is because that's where the flush would hit, because that's where the sun would hit. So we'd have a little bit more of a flush there, um, a little bit here, and then a little across the nose. And here. Let's go back in with that shadow that's on our lid, that shade Fracture, and then we're going to grab an E27 and just kind of smooth that out, bring it here. Ooh, that's so nice. One more finishing touch. I'm going to take the bronzer and I'm just going to lightly tap it through here and then tap it under here and I just feel like it diffuses everything and kind of makes sure everything really matches. Also from About Face, I want to grab a little bit of the shade Refract, just a tiny amount, just to kind of brighten it up a little. Just for funsies. Grabbing some more of it. Same E27. Yes. We're going to do this Frost lipstick. I know, Frost. No. Yes. I think. <laughs> so I saw a bunch of TikTok ads for it. It's from Rogue Beauty, um, and the shade is called Go See. We're definitely gonna do a lip liner with it, but let's kind of throw it on. Oh, it's pretty. Oh my, it's so sparkly. I think this is pretty. This is Buxom Lip Liner and the shade is Sassy Sienna. And I'm gonna start to define that lip line. Let's add a little bit more of the lipstick just to kind of blend it into the lip liner. So here's our finished look. I added some earrings. These are definitely earrings that I would wear on a vacation. I feel spicy. By the way, the earrings are from eight other reasons. I love their jewelry. Now back to front face camera. 
why are we not all on vacation together wearing sparkly eyeshadow? <laughs> we can dream. I hope that y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Um, everything's going to be listed in the caption as always. I love y'all so much. I hope y'all are enjoying these over here. We're still over on IG, but we're just kind of switching back and forth on these days. But I love you. Thank you so much for being here and we'll see you next time.